such a profound reality in the Quran. Now you will understand this ayah that we're about to uh, uh, study. By the way, one more common uh, uh, modern confusion before we get to the ayah, actually very important. McDougall, a, a modern psychologist, actually denies that human being has free will. In modern psychology, there's a denial of free will. How? He says, you're made up of your genes. You're a product of genetics. You're a product of heredity. And second, multiplied by your society. There are two influences on you. If you're a student of psychology, even if you took psychology 101, you know this. There's nature and nurture, right? He says you're already pre-programmed, and on top of that there's your environment. What you do, you actually have no choice in the matter. This is just a product of what your situation is. This is actually even used in defense and criminal law. Somebody steals and gets caught, well he comes from a tough neighborhood. He didn't have any other situation. The environment was such he didn't have a choice, right? Or he has certain hormones in his body, certain chemicals are more in his genes than others, that's why it's okay for him to kill. Right? For him to beat up his wife or whatever. Right? So he even denies that we have free will. So first they took away the honor from the human being, then morality from the human being, and now even free will. We're just acting like machines. What are you? You're just a bunch of chromosomes and genes walking around. That's all you are. You're nothing more. Just another machine. There's nothing more to you than that. SubhanAllah. Now look at the response in the Quran. Allah says, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِينَ Word by word by word. لا for emphasis. لا for emphasis. An emphasis is used when you don't, agree, don't believe something. What Allah is about to say, you don't believe it. You haven't internalized it. So Allah feels the need to say لا. For sure. قَدْ Already. The word قَدْ is important. This honoring of the human being isn't something he earned later on. He was given it before he even got here. Allah had already honored the human being before he was, he was even put in the womb of his mother. Allah created the soul of the human being. وَلَقَدْ كَعْقَمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ We already honored the son of Adam. لَقَدْ Then he says, خَلَقْنَا We created. Allah Himself mentions, we created. He didn't just say the human being is the best possible fashion. We created the human being. Al-insan, the human being. Interesting word al-insan, because it also comes from the word nasiya, to forget. Right? So, this forgetful creature. <laughs> but then he says, Fi ahsani taqweem. We created the human being how? Fi in ahsan. The word ahsan comes from husn. And hasan. Husn means beauty. Ahsan is beautiful both on the outside and on the inside. Literal and figurative. Both. So, Allah created the human being in the best possible. And then the word taqweem. Taqweem comes from qama originally, to stand. Taqweem is to make something stand upright. Qawwama is used also for a spear. You know, a spear is bent in battle. When you make it perfectly straight, qawwamtu. I made it perfectly straight. Okay? Now, taqweem means to take multiple components and to balance them together so they're perfectly straight. It also means to design something perfectly for the purpose for which you were wanted to make it. So you, the car is designed for driving. But if you make the perfect car, this is taqweem of the car. Perfectly designed, everything is perfectly placed. Okay? Probably not a general mode. But I mean, <laughs> just kidding. But anyway, so actually taqweem in the best possible fashion, everything was bad. The word taqweem is included in taqweem, balance. Now understand, I said already human beings are made up of two parts. The body and the soul. And Allah said I created the human being in the best possible fashion, the best possible balance. There are different entities inside the human being, like there are different body parts inside the human being. Physically also, we're the only ones who walk upright like this. And morally also, we're the only ones who walk upright. Morally also, we walk upright. We look forward, right? We, 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 we've been given something no other creature has been given. So now, fi ahsani taqweem. This is the response, Allah's response, to the allegation against the denial of the human being's honor. Not only did the human being end up forgetting Allah, they ended up forgetting and disgracing their own self. And that's a natural consequence when you forget Allah. The human being thinks they're going to forget Allah, they're going to, for their own self. Allah teaches them, فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنْفُسَاهُمْ They're going to forget their own selves. And this is a state we've reached. Modern society, there's no religion corrupting the minds of the people. Religion is the opiate of the masses, right? There's no religion corrupting the minds of the people. And yet the suicide rate is the highest ever in history. The, the amount of uh, heinous crimes, highest ever in history. The amount of people, you know, uh, children, of uh, crimes against children, highest ever in history. Strange, demented kinds of crimes, highest ever in history. Why? Because the human being denied himself the, 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 the grand favor Allah had given. 
This, how is it connected to Watini, Wazaytuni, Waturisini, Wahadha al Balad al Amin? All of that, I didn't connect them. I explained to you Watin, Wazaytun, Waturisini, Wahadha al Balad al Amin, and separately we started talking about the Qad al Khalaq al Insana fi Afsan al Taqweem. But we didn't connect the two. And this is Jawab al Qasam, by the way. This is the response to the oath. And the oath is always a response or connected to the response to the oath. Jawab al Qasam. So, what is the connection? One, one alim, that the, 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 his opinion I sort of inclined towards in this matter, uh, Hamiduddin Farahi rahmahullah, he argued as follows. He said, Atin, the valley between Hamdan and Hanwan, referring to Mount Judi, Nuh alayhi salam. Az Zaytun, Al Masjid al Aqsa, Isa alayhi salam. Turi Sinin, it's obvious. Who is that? The Mount Sinai. Musa alayhi salam. Wa hadha al Barad al Amin, and this peaceful, entrusted city, who obviously? Rasulullah alayhi salam. How many messengers now? Four. How many Ulul Azam? Five. Well, who's missing? We got Noah, we got Isa, Musa, Muhammad, who's missing? Ibrahim. But this city, this entrusted city, who installed the city, who inaugurated the city, who built the house that was entrusted in the city? All of them are coming. The five greatest examples of human beings, and then Allah says we created the human being in the best possible fashion. Allah Azza wa Jal is telling us, Isa salam, Musa salam, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The events of their life, and if you take the other interpretation, even Nuh alayhi salam, do these people look like they are proofs that the human being was created in the best possible fashion? Are they not evidence? What motivations did they have? Was it the stomach they were running after? Was it wealth? Was it self-aggrandization? Did they want people to appreciate them? Was that what they were running after? Look, study their life, what will you find? Are they not the proof that Allah created the human being above an animal? Something very high. And the highest examples are the Ulul Azam min al-Rusul. The five greatest examples of human beings. And then Allah says we created the human being in the best possible fashion. Already. And the proof is in history. The proof is in the lives of these prophets. The response to the allegation against the human being himself in his own nature, the response to that is in the legacies of these people that the Qur'an is full, full with. You want to know what the upright, the balanced human being is? You know, a psychologist should know what, you know, what the good or the balanced personality is. Study these balanced personalities. These are the balanced persons. SubhanAllah.